Hi there. My name is Sharice and I'm a children's librarian with the Tacoma Public Library. And today I have another fun Steam video for you. So today we are going to be building an edible model of a tarantula. The ingredients for this activity are pretty simple and I have included a link in the description to a handout that has the activity. So this activity is called Tasty Tarantulas and it's from a book called Oh Ick by Joy Massoff. And I've printed out my instructions here so I can follow along as well. So to get started, you're going to need a large box of raisins and I have just a, a few packs of small ones. These come in like a six pack. You need about 26 toothpicks, so just wooden toothpicks. You need black licorice, and I actually bought these little Twizzlers. They are, they come in little nibs so that I don't have to cut them. So if you can find this, it'd be really, it's kind of a time saver. Um, just make sure you don't get any licorice that has holes in the middle because we're going to be sticking toothpicks inside the licorice as part of the model, so you want it to be able to hold up. Um, obviously this is cherry flavored red licor licorice. You can use black if you like as well, if you prefer that flavor. For the body parts of the tarantula, you'll need a small to medium plum that represents the abdomen. You'll need one large prune or fresh black fig that will represent the chest and one large purple grape to represent the jaw parts. So I don't have any fresh fruit on hand, so I am going to use, I have jumbo marshmallows and mini marshmallows. So I'm just gonna make do with that and continue with, so I can continue the edible uh, model. And if you don't have those on hand, if you don't have anything that is kind of like a circular shape, you can make something out of clay or Play-Doh as well. So first things first, we're going to take our toothpick here we're going to thread six raisins onto the toothpick, leaving about half of the toothpick bare. All right. You want to leave about half of the toothpick bare. I'm going to take one of our little licorice pieces and stick it on the end. We're going to think of this kind of as like a kneecap, like a little spider kneecap. We're going to have another toothpick sticking out as well. Now, if you've got licorice that comes in longer bits, you're going to want to cut them into about quarter inch pieces, um, roughly about this size. So just to save some time, I found some that are a little small and they're just called Twizzlers nibs, if you can find them. I just got them at Target, so you can probably find them in most grocery stores as well. So now that we have one of our legs done, we are gonna do this seven more times so that we have eight legs in total. All right, so I have my eight legs made. And once you have your legs all made, so you're gonna take your, you're gonna take your leg, you're gonna stick a toothpick into what is the licorice kneecap here. Careful not to poke yourself. And then you're going to thread raisins onto the whole toothpick and then you're going to cap it off with another licorice. You're going to do this with all of your eight legs. All right, so now I have all eight of my legs done, complete with little Twizzler knee joints and a little Twizzler, um, I guess, kind of foot at the end there. So, we are going to make the body parts now. This would be step number five. So you're going to attach the plum to the prune or fig by sticking a toothpick 
partway into the plum and then pushing the exposed part of the toothpick into the prune or fig. So I am going to just use jumbo marshmallows because I don't have fresh prunes or figs or, or plums on hand. And we're going to attach each leg to the marshmallows. And remember, they, I said they have two body sections and eight legs. And I'm going to use a small marshmallow to represent his jaw. Directions call for a grape, but I don't have any. So I've just stuck a couple marshmallows in there. Next, we're going to make the pedipalps, and those are kind of like little pinchers almost pointing out from the jaw. So we're going to take two toothpicks and put four raisins on them each. And then I'm going to stick them into my jaw at kind of an angle there. And it almost, almost stands up, but not fully by itself because the weight of its body, I think, is too much and its legs can't support it. But that would be another interesting idea as to how to make one that stands up and stays. So the last part we need to make is called the spinnerets. And these are pieces that stick out of the spider's rump. So we're going to take a toothpick and split it in half very carefully. And stick those two pieces in the end. I imagine that probably helps the spider with his directions, knows where he's going. All right, so there we have it. An edible model of a tarantula. And you can see it is almost nearly life-size. I know some tarantulas get really big depending on what region of the world you're in. It almost stands up on its own and everything is fully edible. You just have to be aware of the toothpicks. So you can kind of leave this around if you want to give someone a little fright or you can go ahead and dismantle it after you have built your tarantula and have a yummy snack. So thank you so much for watching this steam video and check out the Tacoma Public Library YouTube page for more story time and steam videos and we also have lots of ebooks and audiobooks. And while you're on our website, check out our summer reading club for children and all ages. Thanks so much.